All right, so as most of us know, the San Diego Zoo is absolutely fantastic, and we love the San Diego Zoo. However, some people don't realize this, San Diego Zoo has a second location in North County, San Diego, and it's called Safari Park. So let's go check it out. So San Diego's Safari Park used to be called the Wild Animal Park, and it's been around for, for as long as I can remember. I think it was built in like the 1970s, so it's not as old as the San Diego Zoo. And I don't think there's as many animals, but it's pretty darn big and it's well worth it, especially because if you buy a San Diego Zoo pass, you get to go to San Diego Safari Park for free. Now the one difference between the San Diego Zoo and Safari Park is there you do have to pay to park at Safari Park. Now, so San Diego Safari Park is nowhere near the San Diego Zoo. It's about uh, maybe 30, 45 minute drive away, but it's well worth it. There's a lot of cool things. We're gonna go check out a whole bunch of different animal exhibits that they don't have at the San Diego Zoo. There's a lot of walking at the Sa at San Diego Safari Park, and so be ready for that. And make sure that you bring water because especially in the summer months, uh, this area of San Diego can get really hot. So today what we're gonna focus on is we're gonna focus on the Walkabout Australia the World Gardens, Condor Ridge, and the Tiger Trail. Hi kangaroos! Hi kangaroos! Hey guys! Most types of eucalyptus trees are adapted to drought conditions. A deep root system reaches water other plants cannot. Oh look! They're standing. Yeah. Look, the kangaroos are standing. But they're in the... You may be able to see them or I love that in the uh, in the kangaroo uh, exhibit they pump in sounds to make. So what makes a marsupial? Kangaroos and wallabies are mammals like us, but with a little something extra. They have a pouch. Born the size of a gummy bear and not fully developed, a marsupial baby crawls through its mother's fur and into her pouch. Snug inside, the baby latches onto a nipple and nurses continually while it continues to grow. The word marsupial comes from the Latin marsupium for purse or pouch. Oh, I didn't know that. That's definitely a wallaby. Hi, wallaby. And then look at these pretty birds that we have right here. Oh, wow. The theming here is just absolutely amazing. I love the way that they did this, the, the way that they created it. It's just there's so many different pieces to this area that you really didn't need to do, but it really adds to the theming and it makes it feel like it's just that much more special. You know, even like the theming of the store around here is just amazing. The other thing that you're gonna notice about the San Diego Zoo and the Safari Park that I just absolutely love is the volunteers at these places, they are so knowledgeable and they are so friendly because I think that this is like a labor of love to be a volunteer at the San Diego Zoo or Safari Park. They truly love what they're doing and so they really, really, not only do they know a lot, but they want you to know a lot. So props to the volunteers. Thank you so much for all you do. And thanks, thank you so much for uh, giving us all that information. It's really fun. Just be playing like Dad, the national anthem all the time. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, very They're very big. These are called the Northern Bald Eagles. Dad, the eagle is literally turning its head. Yeah, isn't that crazy? The Northern Bald Eagle is found in Alaska and Canada, all the way east to Labrador. Bald eagles sport bright white feathers on their heads. In Old English, bald means white. This may be why their name is what what it is. So. Bald means white. So it's That's like the that. real name is it's the white head eagle. And over in the tiger trail, there's a whole bunch of little areas where the kids can go explore. Like there's that mini trail, but also there's a play structure. It's just kind of hard to find. It's off to the side. There's this little fun, difficult path right here by the tigers. And then over here, when you, when you get to the glass area, you go this way and you go to the little playground. And they got a fun little uh, playground over here. Nice place for the kids to get their energy out. 
and for you to hang out. And then you walk right in and there's actually, actually tigers. You know, every time I go to the tiger trail over in the San Diego Zoo, I never get to see the tigers. But the tigers are always out over here. San Diego Safari Park is just super fun and you know what honestly it's there's so much to do and it's so big that we didn't even get a chance to see even half of it today because we enjoyed ourselves we took our time so if you ever have a chance check out San Diego's Safari Park it's so cool <laughs> <laughs> 